so, so you got that. I, I can go to my answer now. Um, I mean, certainly in 1989-90, uh, uh, the French and the Poles were the ones who were the most resistant, the most reluctant to agree to a quick reunification. Uh, in the United States, it had been our fundamental Cold War foreign policy that the division of Germany is the great injustice of the Cold War. Uh, Germany should be united and free. Oops, now it can be. Well, we didn't have much problem, but we had an ocean between us and the Germans. This was a different story to Poles and to the French, particularly Francois Mitterrand. Uh, so uh, they, they were the ones who slowed things down and extracted some particulars. Most of it had to do with financing. Um, but what they didn't realize that was that West Germany, and, and, and actually a lot of people who were critics of the way reunification occurred in Germany and observers of Germany from the outside, knew that they were buying a white elephant. And it really was only in the fall of uh, the summer of 2008 that the economies and the economic conditions in the five new eastern states had begun to be significantly not worse than those in the West. And of course, the German economy had, had suffered broadly from this uh, in a stagflation kind of thing. And, and various American presidents, including Bill Clinton and uh, George Bush 43, uh, had sort of laughed at the Germans for this. But they had finally overcome it. And the uh, unemployment rate had sh shrunk to below 8% after having been uh, 10 or 12, and that being fictive because of the people who were in make work programs and stuff. But so, so the Germans bought themselves a 20 year investment process that for 20 years was going to keep them pacified, to keep them distracted. On a more positive note, I would offer the following points to, to help people who have valid reason to be concerned about German culture and German society. Uh, 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 to, to have some faith. It didn't happen immediately. Uh, I just actually gave a paper at the Ralph Hilberg Center at the University of Vermont uh, this uh, uh, spring about judges in the Third Reich, and I really talked about the historiography of judges in the Third Reich written since the Second World War. Germans didn't start to come to grips with their past really until the 1960s. It was the uh, uh, Eichmann trial. Uh, it was the at arrival of the statute of limitations of most crimes, which was 20 years, and the need to extend those, which then gave rise to the creation of institutions to try war criminals to the various Auschwitz guard trials in 1964 and, and thereafter. Uh, social democratic states in particular, but eventually all of the West German states, created uh, state centers for political education. Now, after President Obama's speech yesterday, that probably is not a politically correct term to apply. Uh, but what this means in Germany is educating school children to embrace democratic republicanism and to understand the burden of German history. Uh, just as uh, Jewish groups send uh, American school children to Auschwitz, state center, centers for political education send German school children to Auschwitz. Uh, not everyone, you know, it depends on the budget. It, uh, uh, are there crackpot neo-Nazis in Germany? Sure. Uh, a majority of white people in Louisiana voted for a Nazi for governor in 1990. Uh, so uh, I don't think Germany's signally different there from other places uh, uh, around the world. Uh, the German government and non-governmental non organizations have created institutions, educational and memorial, like the new memorial, you've got these wonderful photos of the memorials to the, to the murdered uh, 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 Jews of Europe, uh, uh, which is now in Berlin near the Brandenburg Gate, which has a major educational operation. And so if they don't go to Auschwitz, they'll go to Berlin. And while in Berlin, the school children will go there. Is it a utopia? No. Uh, but do you need to? Do people need to be more afraid of a resurgence of anti-Semitism or militant nationalism in Germany 
than other places in Western Europe? I would think not. So uh, there's very little Jewish population. Final question. I was just in Berlin in June. I'm talking about you. I'll try to repeat it. I'm not asking a question. And we took a tour of the tour guide. And she took us, and we had gone before on our own to the uh, memorial. Mm -hmm. And we also sat by, and they pointed out and talked about the uh, museum and the addition of the Holocaust Museum to that. And I was so happy there was only one sentence about Hitler. And as we drove by, she said, that's where Hitler was born. That was it. Mm -hmm. Meaning. Mm -hmm. You've been there more recently than I. Well, thank you all.